When you talk about the top dogs in the world of fighter jets, two names immediately come to mind. The American F-22 Raptor and the Russian Su-57 Felon. These aren't just planes, they're the culmination of decades of innovation, engineering, and a bit of old-fashioned competition between superpowers. The F-22, built by Lockheed Martin, was the first fifth-generation fighter jet ever made. It's sleek, stealthy, and built to own the skies. On the other hand, the Su-57, developed by Sukhoi, is Russia's answer to the F-22, a jet that's designed to do a bit of everything – air superiority, ground attack, and electronic warfare. But how do they stack up against each other? What makes them different, and what does each bring to the table? Let's start with the F-22 Raptor. Right off the bat, you'll notice its distinctive angular design. This wasn't just a stylistic choice, it's all about stealth. The F-22's shape, combined with its radar-absorbent materials, is specifically designed to minimize its radar cross-section. In simple terms, this means that on enemy radar, the Raptor appears as little more than a bird or a small drone, if it even appears at all. Its smooth surfaces and sharp angles work together to deflect radar waves away from the source, making it extremely hard to detect. The Su-57, while also incorporating stealth, takes a slightly different approach. It's not as focused on being completely invisible, but rather on being stealthy enough while maintaining other vital features like maneuverability and speed. The Su-57's design incorporates a mix of flats and curved surfaces, with composite materials and radar-absorbent coatings to reduce its radar signature. However, it doesn't go to the same lengths as the F-22. The Su-57 is a bit bulkier and has a more complex shape, but that's because it's designed to balance stealth with other attributes that the Russians value, like agility and versatility. Speaking of agility, Let's check out the engines that power these jets. The F-22 is equipped with two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines. These aren't just any engines. They're capable of producing over 35,000 pounds of thrust each. What's really impressive, though, is the Raptor's ability to supercruise. This means it can maintain supersonic speeds without needing to kick in the afterburners which not only boosts its speed and range, but also reduces its infrared signature, making it harder for enemies to track with heat-seeking missiles. One of the Raptor's standout features is its thrust vectoring nozzles. These nozzles allow the pilot to direct the thrust from the engines in different directions, enabling the F-22 to perform maneuvers that would be impossible for other jets. We're talking about tight turns, rapid climbs, and sudden stops moves that can make the difference in a dogfight. The F-22's agility in the air is unmatched, making it a nightmare for any enemy pilot. The Su-57, on the other hand, is powered by twin Saturn AL-41 F-1 engines, with future versions expected to use the more powerful Isdelia 30 engines. While the Su-57 doesn't have the same supercruise capability as the F-22, it compensates with its super maneuverability. This means it can pull off extreme aerial maneuvers like the Cobra and the Culpit. These moves aren't just for air shows. They can be the key to evading a missile or gaining the upper hand in close quarters combat. The Su-57's engines are designed to provide both high thrust and exceptional agility, making it a formidable opponent in any scenario. Now, let's step inside the cockpit. The F-22's cockpit is a high-tech marvel. The pilot is surrounded by a fully digital glass cockpit, with all the critical flight information projected onto a heads-up display. This allows the pilot to keep their eyes on the sky while still getting all the data they need. The F-22's radar system, the AN-APG-77, is one of its most important features. This radar can track multiple targets at once, even at ranges exceeding 230 kilometers. This means the Raptor can engage enemies from well beyond visual range, striking before they even know it's there. Plus, the F-22 is equipped with advanced data links and secure communication systems, allowing it to share information with other aircraft in real time, coordinating attacks and defenses across the battlefield. 
The Su-57's cockpit is similarly advanced, but has its own Russian flavor. The wide-angle heads-up display gives the pilot a comprehensive view of the battlefield, while the multifunctional displays provide access to a wealth of information about the jet's systems, sensors, and weapons. The Su-57 is equipped with the N036 Belka radar system, an actively electronically scanned array radar capable of tracking up to 60 targets simultaneously and engaging up to 16 of them at once. On top of that, the Su-57 also has an infrared search and track system, which allows it to detect and engage stealthy targets at close range without needing to rely on radar. When it comes to weapons, the F-22 Raptor carries a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, all stored internally to maintain its stealth profile. Its primary air-to-air -air weapon is the AIM-120 AMRAAM, a beyond-visual-range missile that can engage targets up to 160 kilometers away. For closer engagements, the Raptor carries the AIM-9 Sidewinder, a heat-seeking missile that's incredibly effective against highly maneuverable targets. Additionally, the F-22 is armed with a 20mm Vulcan cannon, which can deliver a lethal dose of firepower in dogfights. And for ground attack missions, the Raptor can carry precision-guided bombs, again stored internally to keep it as stealthy as possible. The Su-57, being a multi-role fighter, has a more diverse arsenal. It's equipped with the R-77 missile, Russia's counterpart to the AMRAAM, capable of engaging targets at long range. For close combat, the Su-57 carries the R-73, a highly maneuverable infrared-guided missile, while the Su-57 also has internal weapons bays for stealth missions. It can mount additional weapons on external hardpoints when stealth isn't a primary concern. This flexibility allows the Su-57 to adopt to different combat scenarios, from air superiority missions to ground attacks and even electronic warfare. In terms of raw performance, both jets are top tier, but they excel in different areas due to their design philosophies. The F-22 has a top speed of Mach 2.25 and a combat radius of about 800 kilometers. It also has an operational ceiling of over 65,000 feet, which allows it to operate above most enemy aircraft and surface-to-air missiles. The ability to supercruise adds to the F-22's operational range and reduces the amount of time it spends in dangerous airspace, giving it a significant tactical advantage. The Su-57, while slightly slower with a top speed of around Mach 2, offers a greater combat radius of over 1,200 kilometers, thanks to its ability to carry more fuel. This gives the Su-57 more endurance, allowing it to stay in the fight longer. The Su-57's operational ceiling is slightly lower, at around 60,000 feet, but its emphasis on super maneuverability means it can hold its own even when faced with the most challenging aerial combat situations. The differences between the F-22 and Su-57 reflect the strategic priorities of the United States and Russia. The F-22 is designed primarily for air superiority, focusing on stealth, speed, and first strike capability. Its mission is to establish air dominance by taking out enemy aircraft before they even know it's there. Its supercruise capability, combined with its low radar cross-section, makes it the perfect platform for intercepting and destroying enemy aircraft at long range. The Su-57, on the other hand, is designed to be more versatile, capable of handling a wide range of missions. While it's certainly built for air superiority, it's also designed for ground attacks, electronic warfare, and even anti-ship missions. The Su-57's design reflects a more balanced approach, where stealth is important but so is versatility and resilience. The Su-57's ability to carry a variety of weapons and perform extreme maneuvers makes it a flexible tool for the Russian military, capable of adapting to different battlefield scenarios. So, when it comes down to it, the F-22 Raptor and the Su-57 Felon are both incredible machines, but they're built for different purposes. The F-22 is the ultimate first strike platform, designed to take control of the skies and keep it. It's all about stealth, speed, and precision. The Su-57, meanwhile, is a more adaptable fighter, built to be effective in a variety of roles. It might not be as stealthy as the F-22, but it can do things the Raptor can't, like carrying a larger payload or performing complex aerial maneuvers. 
In a world where air superiority is key to military dominance, both the F-22 and the Su-57 stand as symbols of the cutting edge of aviation technology. Each jet is a reflection of its country's military philosophy and strategic needs, and each one has its strengths and weaknesses. Whether it's the F-22's stealthy first strike capability or the Su-57's versatility and maneuverability, these jets are the result of years of innovation and competition, and they represent the very best of what modern military aviation has to offer.